Hello, everybody. Welcome to the CompTIA A Plus 220-1101 Quarter 1 exam. I'm doing a simulation performance-based question, a drag and drop. Um, I've been doing some PBQs, and this one is my favorite so far because it's so realistic, and I've had to do it so many times. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's read this very carefully. Because when you take a performance-based question, you have to understand a scenario. And different technology or different people have different needs. So read it carefully. Okay, so let's read it. It is your first day at work, and two new hires need workstations built immediately. You need to build two Windows 11 64-bit workstations. Very important. Keep that in mind. Workstation A is for a business office manager who has one screen and tends to multitask a lot. Okay, keep that in mind. Workstation B is for an engineer who uses multiple displays in resource-intensive applications. So right off the bat, I can tell you these workstations are going to be completely different setups. So instructions. Objects should be dragged to their appropriate places. On this one, I made it a little tricky. Not all objects and labels will be used. So you may take a CompTIA exam where they want you to use them all, or maybe some will not. So be very careful. Okay, use your best judgment. You have to use your judgment to do this task. Okay, so here is the drag and drop. Keep in mind, workstation A is for the business office manager. So I'm um, just gonna write B-O. M. And then workstation B is for the engineer. Yeah, I never got so good at this one. It's very funny. Hey, good enough. B O M E N G, business office manager and engineer. Okay, so we have on the left hand side the columns. Look at the RAM, look at the graphics, and then look at the processor. So let's start with workstation A, business office manager. So if we looked at our um, background details, what did it say? Uh, they have one screen, they multitask. Okay. So use your best judgment. We're not gonna use every single label and some labels will be blank. What is the first thing I think of? Well, they got one screen. So they're not gonna need a whole lot of graphics processing. I'm kind of in the middle. Should I use integrated graphics or business grade graphics card? Since they're not using graphics that much and it's only one screen, I'm gonna go with integrated. So let's put this one over here. Or maybe the label will be down here or I had it up here, so that's fine. Okay, so integrated and onboard, that's done. What else can we put on here for the business office manager? Let's look at RAM, four gigs of RAM, eight gigs of RAM, or 16 gigs of bit, gigabytes of RAM. Hmm, which one would you choose? Well, it's not too intensive, right? You might go for four gigabytes, but keep in mind it's 64 bit. So for it to perform better, you're gonna need eight gigas, eight gigabits. 8 gigabytes of RAM. Can't talk today. So let's get that going. Okay, I dragged it there. It is a little messy. Okay, great. Uh, What else? So we did the graphics card, we did the RAM. What about processor? We have an i3, and we have an i7, or we have an ARM. Hmm. Some people might be thinking i3, some people might be thinking ARM, but be careful. It's 64 bit and that is a 32 bit processor. So that means it's impossible. You cannot choose ARM. So let's go with the i3. That should work for basic needs, some multitasking, but nothing too crazy. Probably just doing emails, word processing, stuff like that. So if you know you can eliminate things, then just eliminate it. OK, 
Okay, we can eliminate the ARM because it's 32-bit. We can eliminate the 4 gigs of RAM because we're on 64-bit processor. Great. Now that makes it so much easier. Okay, let's do the engineer's workstation. Uh, Well, a lot of graphics for this one, right? So we're just going to bump them up to a SLI or NVLink, meaning that they're going to use multiple graphics cards. They do a lot of crazy processing, um, making blueprints and different diagrams using stuff like AutoCAD Revit, very intensive programs. So they're going to need multiple graphics cards. Okay. Uh, here, this one's a trap. Integrated graphics card? No, you're not going to use it. Uh, okay, processor. What's left? The only thing left is the i7. And yes, you would need an i7. Sometimes I even see Xeon processors for engineers. Uh, okay, RAM. Not a whole lot more to choose from, right? We can eliminate that graphics card. And the last thing left to label, oops, is the 16 gigabytes RAM, which would go there. So then that means that this one was a trap and this one was a trap. You didn't need to label them. I thought this was a cool exercise because I've had to do things like this so much for different businesses, and it's pretty realistic. They do have these kinds of performance-based questions on the CompTIA Core 1. So you really need to prepare and be expected to make different kinds of workstations. I see people making gaming workstations. I see people making um, server virtualization workstations. So those kind of things will be on the comp t exam all right i hope you learned something new and good luck on your exams